Prototyping in Miro lets you quickly create interactive prototypes in the same place you're already synthesizing research, hosting design sprints, and working with your cross-functional partners. You can build, test, and iterate on your prototypes, whatever your design experience. In this video, we'll start with the foundations of how to prototype in Miro, but be sure to stick around for the AI functionality in the second half. It's awesome. We'll start by clicking the plus icon and opening the prototyping panel. Here we have a library of components and icons with which to build our prototypes. First, we'll add a new screen to our board by clicking and dragging this screen component. We can add more elements like buttons, input fields, text boxes, and whatever else we need by dragging them onto our screen. Each of these components is customizable. Once we've created a few screens, we can create navigation paths between them. For example, we'll select this Next button and click and drag this connector to our second screen. This will create a clickable element in the preview mode. We'll select the screen and click the Preview button in the toolbar. Notice how we can now scroll through the content and navigate between screens using the hotspots we created. This gives us a realistic view of how our prototype will function so that we can get feedback, test it with customers, and get a feel for how the final product would look. That's cool, but how can we do it even faster? There are several ways, but let's start by having AI generate a full prototype from a prompt. Here we have a board where we just completed a design workshop, and we've used Miro AI to synthesize the results into a brief. We'll use this brief as context to get better results from Miro AI. We'll open Miro AI by clicking here and selecting Prototype. Answer a few questions, and then select our document on the board so Miro AI knows to use it as context. Let's type, design an engaging onboarding process for a banking app built for college students. Click Generate. This process can take some time, but the results will be worth it. And we can even iterate on the results after they've been generated. Wow, look at that. Like with any output from Miro AI, we can provide more instructions and generate additional results. Cycle through the different versions and then select the best option to add to the board. Connectors are generated with the prototype to design the preview experience. All of the elements are editable just as before. Wait a minute, these colors don't match our brand. If only we could do something about that, like what if we could select the screens, then import an image that has our branding, and then have it apply automatically or something? That would be really cool. Oh well, we can dream, right? Matt, you can do that. What? Yeah, we literally just showed it happening while you were talking. Wow, what can't we do? Rarely in our work will we be building something from scratch. So rather than recreating everything ourselves, we can import the existing designs into Miro as editable prototypes. As you can see on the board, we have both a hand-drawn sketch and a screenshot. In both cases, we'll select the image and click Convert Image to Prototype. The AI analyzes the image and converts it into a fully editable mockup. Look at how each element has been identified, and we can now change text, swap colors, and modify elements and anything else. Miro isn't here to replace your pixel-perfect design tools. What we are here to help you do is move faster. By keeping your prototypes in Miro, you're building in the same place where the research, the planning, the collaboration, the feedback can all happen. And again, with the ability to convert existing designs and even hand-drawn sketches, you can start from any input. Give it a try. We're looking forward to seeing what you build next.